In this video, we're gonna show you how to make an underground tech house drop like artists that's and or did in these tracks. <laughs> Including these elements. <laughs> so let's straight dive into it. Let's start off with a vocal. El tempo sube y nos atrapa en esta fiesta la energía no cap. Let's pick one from the new Underground Tech House pack. It's linked down below as well if you want to check it out. Bajamos una botella de Henny. Get lost. It's me on. Let's use this one. We're looking for a glitchy vocal, so this one really does the job. Sounding like this. Now we're gonna mix it. First, get rid of the low ends and dip it around here. Slightly compress it. Add some delay and reverb. And of course, the side jam because we're gonna use it in a drop. Sounding like this. So now we're gonna dive in the drums. The bass is gonna be really minimal, so the drums are the key element of the track. Let's start off with a really big kick. Just like this. Also, push the focal through around here so, it's dro so it drops right here. Really bouncy, so now we're gonna layer it with a clap. Let's use this Nano 9 clap. It's a bit too thin, so I want to layer it with a really punchy one. When it's minimal tag outs, you really want the short open heads instead of those crispy big ones. Something like this. Then we're gonna add in some groove with the snares. Let's use this one. Duplicate it. And drop in another percussion sound. Just like this, slightly off the grid. Then we're gonna layer the open head with this one to give it some more variation. It also sounds a bit more bouncy. We're gonna do the same thing with a cymbal, just like this. It's a really minimal but a really smooth groove, so let's get a really kick. It sounds like this. Then we're gonna layer it with a glitchy loop from the pack. Those kind of loops are really the finishing touches in the minimal tech house productions. Let's try this one. Fit it to the tempo, of course. Remove the low ends. Do my room for the bass, and of course side chain it. Then arrange the drums a little bit more, and make a drum fill at the end of the eight bars. So we're just gonna drop in a crash, a really short one, just like this, and make it unique and reverse the first one, giving this effect. So then we only need to automate the low end. Something like this. So all together drums sound like this. Now we're gonna dive in the bass. First, drop in a new serum. 
and pick a preset from the underground dagger spec. It's gonna be a really minimal base. Let's use this one. It's just to fill up the low end. Then we're gonna layer it with a lead synth. So again, just pick a preset from the pack. Let's use this one. And make a small fill at the start. Following the bass line. So we're working in A minor. And going up to the dissonant note. Again, keep it really minimal. And make a small fill at the end. Going up to the third note of the scale. Sounding like this. Then we're gonna mix it, remove the low end and the high end a little bit. And we're going for the bass. Then some delay. And reverb. First a side chain. So let's arrange it real quick, just like this. And that's already it for that ender style drop. Again, it's really minimal, but it really does the job. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. It's just a quick idea. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos.